Hello everyone, it's Ryan Archer, West Ham Fan TV. It's the day after the game. West Ham United played out their second draw in a week with a nil-nil at a Bet365 stadium against Stoke. Um, it was, to be fair, it wasn't the worst nil-nil I've ever seen. Uh, entertained a lot of chances, uh, especially for us, but we didn't take any. Uh, so let's get straight into the players' ratings. Starting off in goal, Adrian. Um, thought he had a great game yesterday. Um, pulled off some vital saves, uh, especially in the second half. Um, couple of little, when he kicked it out, you know, little Adrian mistakes, but he made up for it. He made up for it, especially, like I said, pulled off some great, great saves in the second half, uh, especially that one right at the end. Um, so I'm going to give Adrian uh, a 7 out of 10 based on yesterday's performance. Uh, now let's move on to the uh, back three in front of him, starting off with Jose Font. Um, yeah, I thought he, he had a pretty decent game uh, yesterday. Uh, couldn't really split the back three, really. I mean, they all looked solid at the back. Uh, Font was very comfortable on the ball yesterday. Um, so, yeah, I mean, put in a couple of good tackles when he needed to, winning the headers. Uh, so I'm going to give I'm gonna give Jose Font uh, a 6 out of 10 for yesterday. Uh, move on now to <clears throat> uh, Winston Reid in the centre. Um... Typical Winston Reid, really. I mean, he looked like he was playing with a bit of an injury yesterday. Uh, there was a point where I thought he was actually going to come off. Uh, but no, listen, some vital tackles. Some vital tackles, in the, uh, especially in the second half. Um, like I said, got the ball down. Uh, typical, he was captain yesterday as well. Uh, I think that role really suits him. So, yeah, I mean, I'll give, I'll give Winston Reid a 7 out of 10 for yesterday's performance. Uh, let's move on now to James Collins, who we know has been unbelievable the last few weeks. Uh, once again yesterday, thought he had a really good game. Uh, I thought Reid was the standout out of the three of them, to be fair. Uh, but look, Collins, he got turned a couple of times, especially uh, when he got beat by Glenn Johnson on the bar line. Um, just got turned too quick, but he still had a decent game, like I said. Just like the other two, really. Winning headers, uh Winning the right tackles. Play, he played a great ball in the first half over the top uh, to... I forgot who it was now, but he put a lovely ball over. He's, he's spraying the ball around really good yesterday. So I'm going to give I'm gonna give James Collins a 6 out of 10 for yesterday. Uh, now let's move on to right wing back. Uh, Fernandez, once again, filling in that role. I thought he had a great game. Carrying on from the Swansea game. Uh, sorry, Everton game. Um... Yeah, I thought he had a really, really solid game yesterday, getting forward. Uh, I noticed he changed his air yesterday as well, so he must not have liked that. But, no, nah, um, I thought he had a really good game. Like I said, going forward, even even on his defensive side now, um, working back. So maybe that could be a, a little role for him, but I do like him in the centre mid. So, But for now, I think he's... he's uh, that's, that should be his position, really, for the rest of the season, especially with Antonio being out. Uh, now let's move on to the left side. Masso, oh, sorry, I didn't rate him. Fernandez, I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him a seven out of ten for yesterday. Uh, now let's move on to left wing back Masuaku. This boy impresses me every every single game that he plays lately. Uh, just the way he's, he's so confident on the ball as well to take people on to try little tricks and flicks, and nine times out of ten, they come off. I mean, when they don't come off, I'm sure the crowd will let him know, and I'm sure the rest of his teammates will let him know. But, no, the, just the way he gets down that left wing, and he like he plays the one-twos with, like, Lanzini and Ayu, and he's, like I said, he's really, really impressed me, and it's it's going to struggle um, for Creswell to get back into the starting lineup. I mean, Masuaku did go off at half-time with an injury, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it's nothing too serious. But I mean, based on his first half first half performance yesterday, um, I'm going to give Masawaku an eight out of ten because I was that impressed with him yesterday. Uh, now let's move on to the midfield. Uh, Nordvai, um, not as good as he was against Everton, but still a solid game. Uh, give the ball away a few times, especially in the first half. Uh, but after that, I mean, grew into the game, comfortable. Like I said, breaking up the play. Um, giving the ball to the players that he needed to give it to. He didn't try anything too spectacular. So, like I said, I mean, he's he's uh, he's impressed me as well, to be fair. I mean, he got a lot of stick um, when we first watched him play. 
But no, I'm, I'm going to give uh, I'm going to give Nordvia a six out of ten for yesterday's performance. Uh, let's now let's move on to Kiate. Uh, once again, um, especially in the first half yesterday, I thought he was unbelievable. The way he breaks up play and just the way he strides with the ball. I mean, I think I see a stat the other day that he's up there with interceptions with Kante. And like, for me, obviously, Kante got the Player of the Year award. For me, other teams will look at stats like that. And I can see maybe a couple of teams going in for him in the summer. Because he's, like like I said, he's, he's a big unit. You know, the way he's fast on the ball. And just the way he... he just the way he sprays the ball now, he's, he's getting so much confidence, and especially with him running. And I mean, for second half, he sort of died out of the game a bit in the second half. But I mean, overall, I thought he had a really, really good game. And uh, he probably probably helped us, you know, get a point yesterday. Because there was a time in that second half where I thought Stoke were actually going to nick one. But Kyote put in a couple of good challenges to break up the play. So I'm going to give Czech, I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 for yesterday. Uh, now let's move on to Manuel Lanzini. Once again, you know, what, can, what more can I say about this boy? I mean, just the way he plays. I, mean, I love players like him. You know, he's not afraid to take people on. The way he was just leaving players yesterday, just brushing them away as well. He looks like he's getting a bit of upper body strength as well, which he did lack earlier in the season. But no, he had another outstanding performance yesterday. Um, like I said, just the way he, he runs with the ball, he's linking up. He's always linking up with Masawaku down the left. Ayu, he's looking for Czech. Um, even spraying it out like to Fernandez and that. It's just the way he is. And then the way he just runs, like I said, brushes people off and leaves people as well. He's so fast for a little player, especially on the ball. But look, I'm going to give Lanzini, um, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 for yesterday's performance. Now let's move on to Andre Ayu. Thought he had a really, really good game yesterday. Um, thought he was our only real threat up front. Um, overhead kick, uh, great save by uh, goalkeeper Butland, uh, and then he had another one in the second half. Um, went off too soon for me. I mean, went off in about 69th minute. Too early, too early for me. And you can see his frustration as well. And I don't blame him. Uh, like I said, I thought he was our only real goal threat yesterday. Um, like I said, linking up with play, making them runs. He still looks like he's lacking a little bit of fitness, but he's getting there. Uh, the more game time he's playing. Um, and yeah, I just thought he'd come off too soon. Uh, he looked like he was going to get a goal. Uh, so I'm going to give Andre Ayew, uh, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 for yesterday's performance. Now let's move on to his strike partner, Caleri. Poor game for me. Don't get me wrong, his hold-up play's good. His running's good. It's his final ball, his final... His final decision making for me is very poor. One incident, uh, I mean, we've all seen it. Open goal. All he had to do was tuck it away with his left foot. What does he do? Tries a Rabona. Come on, Caleri, man. You do that when you've scored 20, 30 goals in a season and you're three or four nil up in a game. You you just want to just tuck it away. And that was your opportunity yesterday. It was another one. Skied it over from six yards out. when He, sh he really could have left it for IU. It was behind him to tap it in. But I think he's so desperate to score. That's his problem. Uh, and if he, he sort of relaxed a bit more, maybe it would come to him naturally. But look, there's no... No, like... We know he ain't our first choice striker. Carroll was fit. Sacco was fit. Caleri... I mean... I'd even give Fletcher a chance over him now. I mean, I think Caleri's had his chance. But obviously, Bilic likes him. You know? But... Yeah, for me... Like I said, his hold up play is good. His running is good. It's just his final decision making, and so I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give Caleri a five out of ten for yesterday's performance. Uh, just quickly, substitutions. Masawaku went off at half time for Creswell. Uh, Creswell, yeah, decent second half. Straight away had to get into the game. He got beat uh, by Berahino, I think it was. Um, straight away. So yeah, I mean, grew into the game and then got comfortable. Uh, a couple of over it. Crosses and that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Creswell a six out of ten for yesterday's performance. Uh, Andre Ayew went off, disappointed to go off. Mark Noble come on, uh, didn't really do much right. Didn't really do too much wrong really. He was just uh, sitting in midfield, looked comfortable, simple passes. 
Uh, just what you expect for Noble, really, coming on uh, after being out for two games. So I'm going to give Noble a 5 out of 10. Uh, last one, Robert Snodgrass <laughs> for Caleri. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, for me, Bilic, 10 minutes to go, you've taken off Caleri and Ayu already and you're bringing on Snodgrass. When you've got Fletcher on the pitch, you know, we could have gone for the win yesterday. Um, yeah, for me, Snodgrass poor. He looks so unfit for being on the pitch for so little time. He, he's, he's jogging around. I'm going to give him a 4 out of 10. There's not really much I can say more about Snodgrass, really. Uh, going to rate Billich quickly. Like I said, poor substitutions. For me, he could have bought on Fletcher. Even for Gooley, would have been a better option. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I'm going to give Billich. I'm just going to go straight down the middle. 5 out of 10. No. It's, it's difficult to rate managers sometimes. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that leaves us on 39 points now. 15th in the table. Eight points clear, three games to go. Um, yeah, I think we're sort of safe now. Swansea have got a game in hand, but it's going to take a lot for us to get relegated now. So, like I said, look, it's a great point on the road at Stoke. It's our first clean sheet in the Premier League since Palace away in October. So, there's a lot of positives to take. We're unbeaten in four now, but it's two clean sheets, um, two games without scoring now. So, We've got Tottenham next, Friday night, the big one. Uh, looking forward to it. I just hope the players turn up, because if not, it could, could be on the uh, back of a good hiding, personally. I mean, the way Tottenham are playing at the moment. So let's hope they get ruffled up in this uh, North London derby today. So, look, first of all, I've got to say uh, thank you for Scott for stepping in for me last week. Um, I was ill, so he done a great job. Really enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget, watch all the fan reaction videos from yesterday's game. And of course, don't forget to watch post-match pint. We'll be back for the Spurs game. Watch out for all the um, FIFA predictions, Scott's big match preview. Um, we should have a load more videos going up this week as well. So look, I'll leave that there. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Give me your ratings below. Don't forget, subscribe as well if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, and that's it. I'm Ryan Archer, West Ham Fan TV. They're my ratings, now give me yours. Come on, you irons.